After my long journey, I finally stood on the threshold of enlightenment. For here was Janos Ordren's mountain retreat, intact and unblemished. The upheaval that would one day topple this ancient edifice had not yet occurred. And while I had no certainty that Janos still lived, this scene boded well. For I presumed that the collapse of the retreat must have followed the ancient vampire's demise. There was only one obstacle. How to reach the balcony suspended at that maddening height so far beyond my reach. For this was the architecture of winged creatures. And the tattered ruins of my wings were of no use. I would need to devise some other means into that mountain. The mountain's interior was hollow, I discovered, and graced with soaring architecture unique to its creators. As with the outer facade, these balconies and galleries could only be reached by those gifted with flight. With only my ruined wings to carry me, this towering labyrinth seemed impassable. While the object of my quest lay just beyond my grasp, for here, suspended at the apex of the chamber was the threshold that surely led to the great vampire himself. I didn't know whether Janos Ordren was the monster depicted in the stronghold or one of the noble creatures memorialized among the ruins of the ancient vampires. And I didn't care. Demon or angel, he alone held the key to my destiny.